welcome back and before the break we were talking about the hot game at Anfield Liverpool taking on Spurs they've not lost or mm. lost a game in 36 games yep. they're unbeaten at Anfield Actually, which is we a are key a record <laughs> <laughs> yeah true <laughs> one more one more one more, one more game and, 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 and you're equaling we, we equal man you're equaling man city's record second yeah. position big big news. and that would mean we break it because after that yeah Likely the next game we're going to, to win it because of oh, Southampton. Yeah. Oh, def- yeah. that, no, no, that is that. Yeah. The next one will be. W- w- is it Chelsea? Yeah, that, it's a tough one. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Liverpool looking to uh, create records there in the Premier League. Big, big games. But on Sunday afternoon, we kick things off with another big side in yep. Chelsea who will be travelling to Wales and they will be facing Cardiff City. That game starting at, at 5 o'clock. What are Chelsea, Cardiff's chances in this particular game? I think they are a candidate to go down, team. Yeah, they are a candidate to go down. But when you look at their points, Cardiff, they have about 28 points. And that, that on, on, on 18th, that's two points behind, I think, the 17th that's place. Two points yes. behind 13th place. Yeah, mm. so I, I think there's they still a lot to fight for, for for Cardiff. And these are games they can look at and, and surprise a big boy. Because this is now the period where you, you get kingmakers. And Cardiff is, if you watch them playing at, at home, they they're try to fighting. hurt, they fight, they're fighting. And they, we say they're fighting for Salah the late. So it's a game Chelsea might go for. And if they don't step up their game, anything can happen here. Anything. Very, very interesting game, of course, will be coming into this one with the news that Higuain has retired from international football. Yeah. He hasn't kicked the ball for Argentina since the World Cup. So it was very, very big news. And of course, it shows the commitment that he has to the Chelsea cause. What are the chances for Chelsea in this particular game? Is it a walkover for them? It can't be a walkover, obviously, because given uh, two teams that are fighting for a reason, yeah. Chelsea <coughs> wanting a top four and... Um, Cardiff Cardiff fighting fighting for, for survival. Yeah. I think it's going to be a tough one. For two reasons, it will be tough for Chelsea. One, they are coming uh, from the back of a loss. Mm. They would want to cover up their loss and uh, show something to their fans. They lost 2-0 to, to Everton exactly. last time out. So they lost to Everton, they would want to cover it. But, but of course, Cardiff also wants to uh, make a point mm. that they can still fight. Yeah. So either side are going to show us something that will be really, really uh, interesting to watch. But I believe after the other lose to Everton, Chelsea will get another win. Very, very interesting. Big, big news there. Cardiff, I think Cardiff doesn't have enough for Chelsea. <laughs> Eden Hazard, their star man, has been having a very good outing in the international break. He will be looking to continue that form in this particular game for Cardiff. Yeah. <laughs> with all the, the, the form that they've had, with all the, the what they're trying to achieve and try to survive, this is a Chelsea side with Mauricio Sarri, yeah. who hasn't had a lot of luck in the last couple of months. Yeah. I think this is a game they'll win for one. Uh, uh, that's a big margin in for me. Chelsea? In favor of Chelsea? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, in, my, in my opinion, I, I thought this would have been end up in a draw. Yeah. It's just because I, I looked at the Cardiff side and they lost their captain, Samba, for the rest of the season. The of the season. I, I believe it, it, they won't be able to win this. But so tight. I've gone for 2-1 Chelsea. Big one. I Joe also believe Godfrey. in him. It will be like a 2-1, or if Chelsea ages it, it will be 3-1, if at all they age it. Why? I believe that game is going to be like the Liverpool Fulham. Tough. <sighs> Very interesting there. You know that the relegation-threatened sides yeah. always pull up their socks exactly. uh, nearing the end of the season. Eight mm. games to go. For most of these sides, it will be very, very interesting to see how that uh, pans out. But on Saturday, we kick things off with the first game <laughs> of the weekend. Wow. Fulham will be uh, taking on Manchester City. Yeah. That one. This is a big one, especially for you Liverpool fans. This one, we are waiting for it being the first game. Uh, that game, I believe, after the internationals, uh, with the squad that Man City has, yes, Fulham will try to fight back, but I see no way out for them. I believe Man City is going to win this one. I, 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 as a Liverpool fan, I want Man City to lose points, but I don't think they are going to lose any point in this Especially game. against a side that's leaked in the Especially most goals in the league. After all the goals they have leaked and the scoring rate of Man City and the break that has lifted pressure from, from the players, I believe Man City will smash them. What's your prediction before like, you go to Tim's um, comments? It will be either a 3-1 or a 4-1. <laughs> big <laughs> big, big be, prediction there. Tim, what are Fulham's chances? We, they they <clears> are currently... <throat> 19. Yeah. 17 points from 31 games. They've played a game more than most of the teams around them. Yeah. For M- Fulham, without a coach now, only a caretaker in Scott Parker, yeah. who always praises the, the spirit that this team is showing. Yeah. Do they have a chance? 11 points behind Cardiff. 
No, there, there is no chance. I think the two candidates are now known who are going down. That's Huddersfield <laughs> and, and, Fulham. and unfortunately Fulham is going down too, Tony. But you've said Scott Parker. He's, he's brought a, a smile in this, the face of these, these guys. But he's not changed the results. They have now lost, I think, seven in a row after their, their last, I think, uh, draw there. So it, it, it's a game I still see nothing. Unlike the Liverpool team where they, they almost came back to the game and lost 2-1. Yeah. Man City is ruthless. The keeper's mistake. Yeah, Man City is ruthless. They can score four in the first half, and I don't see Man City giving Fulham a chance like Liverpool did. And uh, especially with them chasing Liverpool. Yeah, it's, it's it's worrying times. Just like we said, Liverpool is waiting for Man City to slip. So is Man City, and I think this this is one of the games they have to tick and say we have three points in the back. Very interesting. They'll be coming into this one with most of their players having uh, positive international runouts there. Mm. Uh, we saw Leroy Sane coming back into the German fold and getting some goals. Raheem Sterling, <laughs> a contender for me for PFA <laughs> Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. Yep. It's very yeah, interesting boy. getting two yep. goals for uh, England in that break. It will be very, very interesting. We know that they still don't have Kevin De Bruyne and yep. Fernandinho yep. Uh, yep. through injury, but they have the, the squad to cope yep. uh, with such yep. games. Yep. They've, been, they've been doing like training, yeah? Light training, but this is a game that's coming too early for yeah, them. Yeah, and yeah. of course, with Sergio just... Aguero, who has rested in the break, yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a big problem for Fulham. I've gone for 3 1 City. I went for 3 1 2 City. Yeah. Very interesting it's there. And of course, after that game on Saturday evening, we'll be having Manchester United, yeah. a team that's <laughs> also chasing <laughs> top four football. Yep. They'll be taking on Watford. Yeah, Tony, they'll be taking on Watford. And I think this is another beginning for, for Ole Gunnar Sosha. He has been a man new coach as a mm. caretaker. Mm. Now this is where the business the starts. This, this is a new era yes. just exactly. The honeymoon is over. It, it's it's ah, over ah, and ah, I think he must start making results now mm. in that what he does now will determine how his season was because he needs to get into the top four. I believe with the way his form was, he should mm. have been in the top four by now, but results went On against form, him. His club is ahead uh, if you're to use the time that he's been around. Yeah, his, his club is ahead, but the, the last two games Mani has played, they've lost both Wolves and, and Arsenal, so it, questions are hanging in the air, and this is a game where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer must put those doubts on, on hold, and I believe with his team, his team had Knox here, Shaw, Rashford, Lingard, but they've been training and I believe he'll play a, str mm. a strong side. Mm. But it's, it's a hard one against Watford. We know Watford uh, and Wolves are the two teams above yeah, the top six, so mm. they, they have something Stubble. to be on the table. It's just that it will be at Old Trafford, so I think Manu might edge it. Watford have, hasn't had a lot of success against Manchester United in the last couple of outings, yeah. last couple of seasons even. Mm. So it will be interesting to see what Javi Garcia can, uh, has up his sleeve. He has had some good form in the recent past. Troy Dini has been having uh, some positive games there. Do they start a chance against a social inspired Manchester United? Yes, I think they will challenge, but at the end of it, uh, Manu will get the victory. But it's going to be a very hard fight. One, given the way Man U players have travelled for internationals mm. and they are tired, <coughs> Watford is a team that makes you run around the pitch with those strong They have strong men up front yes, especially. And yep. in the midfield. So given uh, Man U's creativity rotates mostly around the midfield, Pogba, uh, these guys, the decorys, they are going to give Pogba a hard time yep. and the creativity of Man U will slightly go down. But I believe Man U will fight and get the winning goal. But the, the victory will be slight. Sosha <laughs> taking that post uh, as at the helm of Manchester United for three years. Uh, we've been told, of course, uh, as the new uh, Manchester United boss, he'll be looking to start uh, off that era with a win. He's had positive results uh, in the first 19 games that he played. One, uh, um, uh, 14. 14 games yep. there. So it was very, very interesting. I think they can get this win and have gone for 2-0 for Manchester United. I think they'll win this 3-1. I, I just believe they can, what we can score. Big, big uh, so news he, there. He You're score. going for 3-1 as well. He will score, but I believe it can be. Yeah, I believe it. Man U doesn't score so many goals of late. I think it will first score two, and then what for will pull back one, and the game will end one. <sighs> Very interesting. <laughs> this is the weekend that gentlemen are saying <laughs> we'll have a lot of goals. So yeah. You can't move yep. anywhere. Yep. You just have to get glued to your TV sets there. And on Monday night, yeah. we wrap things up with another top four contender in Arsenal. They'll be taking on Newcastle, a team that struggles on Monday nights. Yep. What are Arsenal's chances, especially with the run that they have uh, at the end of this season to finish in the top four, starting with Godfrey? What happened in the first game between <laughs> Newcastle and Arsenal? In the first game, no, as, as, uh, I believe the, the, as, as no, as Arsenal won that game. I, I, Arsenal I, won that game. But it was a, tif, a tough one. It was very tough. So I, believe, to win in that I believe even this time round, as, um, Newcastle is going to put up a fight, yep. as usual. It's a fight tag with Benitez. They will fight Arsenal. 
but if Arsenal replicates uh, the performance they had in the last like two games before going for international, yeah. <coughs> they will have a chance to age Newcastle because Newcastle's problems usually come in the second half. Yeah. They can play and pack the bus and all that, but when they are, they are players. Um, run out of energy, then the opponent teams usually get them. So if maybe uh, Unai leaves out one striker up to around 60 minutes and then makes a proper subs, he will get them in the second half. Very interesting. Arsenal haven't had a lot of people travelling for, for the <laughs> international break, yes. so most of their side will be fresh. Uh, uh, they had a warm w weather training in Dubai in the midweek that we saw there. Lacazette and Aubameyang will definitely be available for selection yep. in this particular game. <laughs> Does Newcastle have any chance, uh, especially with the changes that they've had? Rafa Benitez is still in a negotiation for a new contract yep. uh, with, with, with the team. Yep. What are their chances in this particular game? Well, t Tony, go going to any game, you, you always believe there's a chance for, for the opponent team. But the, the Benitez, we don't know how he's going to approach this game. We, we know he's a guy who can come and just defend the entire game. And he can <laughs> do that and get yeah, for 90 minutes. <laughs> and if, if he does that against Arsenal, which... I think he will not do. He can barely get a point. The problem is, I've, I've admired Arsenal's last three games. The formation is, the is amazing. They're yeah. they playing attackers the everywhere. And, and I was asking myself, had he done this at the start of the season? Mm. Arsenal should have been challenging by, by now. And it's a game, I believe, with the same formation. Mm. The way the Arsenal guys are yelling and enjoying mm bombarding the opponent, uh, they, they, where, will, they will be too much for Newcastle. I, I, I see nothing Newcastle is bringing to now this. That's where to this. the big question is because Unai's problem is, now you predict him to, to, to present that, inside, line, yeah. yes, that line up, mm. but you don't know what he's going to present. He may tinker with it and mm. then uh, change and then change the and, yeah, and, then <laughs> we'll and I think that's where most but Arsenal fans... But if he maintains it, mm. the way they played the last game, Man United, yeah. he has it. If he touches it in, 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 in a certain funny way, Newcastle might, might bite him. Prediction for you, Newcastle Arsenal. Newcastle Arsenal, 3 1 Arsenal. 3 1 Arsenal team. 3 1 Arsenal. They will come in the second half. <laughs> big Arsenal night, big night there on Monday night. Okay. Arsenal will be taking on Newcastle at home at the Emirates. Big, big game there. You can't afford to miss that. Rafa Benitez is high in 13th place on 35 points. Uh, so it will Has be very. It? 35 points for him is already almost certain. To About five to certain. certain he needs a win. Certain, certain, yeah, he only needs probably a win or two to guarantee safety for next season. Mm. So it's very, very good times for Newcastle fans. They'll be coming to the Arsenal uh, Stadium with very, very high energy and hoping for anything in this Salomon Arsenal London. side. Arsenal Newcastle games are very interesting to watch. Mm. Don't forget, <laughs> they, they produced a classic, a 4 4 thriller <laughs> <laughs> there back, back in the day. Very big five, news uh, there. Four, four, five, five. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. Big, big news there in the league. Very big games. We'll be bringing you the rest of the games there with more of the predictions on our social media pages. The face at Tony and Tim Show on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Don't miss any of our updates there as the weekend goes on, of course. And around Europe, yep. we've selected two big games in Italy. <coughs> Inter will be taking on Lazio. Yep. And of course, Roma will be taking on second place Napoli. E Italy this season. Yeah. A lot of things have changed. My most interesting thing to watch is that Inter Milan and AC Milan are back in the top four. Yep. So we might be seeing them in the Champions League next season. They've been off the pace in the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, they've been off. And it, it's, it's really un, unheard of to have Inter and AC out of this equation. But I think they, they've regrouped both sides. And next season, likely, we, we shall have them. It, will they come back with the same uh, momentum they had before? I don't think so, but it's good to have them back, Tony. Very interesting, and of course, we know that this is a league that Juventus threatens to run away with, <laughs> uh, leading in second place Napoli by 15 points. So it will be very uh, interesting to see how they keep pushing uh, Juventus before that league ends. Very, very big weekend all around. We are very glad to be back, and of course, as we go into the running, hashtag final up will be tra will be training on all our social media pages. Just go there and share with us your comments, your thoughts on all of the games as they proceed. With that, we have nothing left to say for now. Goodbye and enjoy your weekend. Goodbye.